Hey, it's Thursday and it's time for unfinished objects. So today, something that I almost finished in Hawaii but didn't finish has just almost been finished. The only thing left is to install the strapping and the buckle that I didn't do in Hawaii and I still haven't purchased. But I finished the shopping cart um, thing <laughs> that I still can't come up with the name of. The shopping cart protector. That's what it is. Um, I'm doing, I'm wiggling you because I'm trying to get it out of its envelope. Oh, actually I'll leave it and then I'll turn it out. Um, the reason it got done today and the reason I haven't progressed on the Irish crochet or any of the other projects that I've got going in my head is because, well, one, I had to finish the chemo hat and two, I am going on Saturday to babysit the child that this needs to be done for and I figure that's a good incentive. So we have a completed shopping cart protector and I'm going to flip it out and show you. So here is that old-fashioned 15-year-old fabric in the bag. It's got a carrier bag. I didn't follow their directions exactly, but I followed them approximately. I don't follow any instructions, to be honest. So I can tell from this video that I need to vacuum my rug, but I'm going to open this up while you look at the floor. There's the bag, and as you can see, the shopping cart protector flops out. Let's lay it out. There. And there it is. This is the back. Let's go on the right side. Let me pause and I'll open it. There is the completed shopping cart protector. What I finished today is I did a row of sort of quilting stitches around the leg openings. I still need to press this. Um, I added the bag to the back, which I can show you right here, is right there just stitched around the sides and then attached it with a bit of um, bias tape, self-made bias tape. And then I cut open the buttonholes and hand stitched them. This is all hand stitched because I watched a couple of movies today and did it while I was watching the movies. Do you think I really need to move my computer or my TV into the sewing room? Maybe. Anyway, so this is done. All it needs is a press and it needs me to go to Joann's or somewhere and get some um, buckles and strapping. What's sad is I'm pretty sure I have buckles in my stash of stuff somewhere, but I don't know at all where they would be. So Joann's it is. This is a clue that whenever you see the opportunity to buy little notions, don't. You're never going to find them again. Just wait until you need them. <laughs> That's my motto now. So uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I need strapping and a buckle, which I can do real quick, and I will probably pick one up tonight or tomorrow. And then I will uh, be done with this project. Another project in the bank. Done. Finished. Complete. How awesome is that? All right, that's it for me today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I finished it all by hand. This is me. I like to sew by hand. I don't know. I think I own how many? I don't know. I own way too many sewing machines for somebody that doesn't use them. Um, remember to subscribe if you want to see more of these unfinished finished objects that are um, getting done and um, ring the bell so that you get notified. I am going to video a new um, video with Jessica tomorrow to show you her creative space. She has, like, she's cool. She's got really cool creative spaces. So make sure that if you want to see that, you ring that bell and subscribe because it will be coming out next. So that would be our Monday video. will be the one with Jessica, Jessica's Creative Spaces. All right. I will see you on Monday with Jessica. Bye.